the target tool, this one has three different tabs built in, uh, the sitemap, the scope and issue definitions. We are in a target and you can see the tab mentioned in the presentation. This tab have further different section within them for different purposes to either enhance the productivity while you're hunting for bugs or just testing the application to understand it further. And the first one is the sitemap. Uh, this one is quite useful as it presents you with um, a list of domains that you have visited uh, while browsing the web. It can indicate which web page or links that have already been visited and um, are not visited. And for example, the one that haven't been visited are indicated by showing the unrequested item in gray color. Um, once you select a domain here, for example, um, it will present you with the subdomain that have been visited in our um, particular ses uh, sessions. In this particular case, they're just directories. Um, there are different sessions here for the request and response. This is the content, which is essentially all the requests that have been made as part of um, this um, um, as part of browsing the web for, for this particular URL. And uh, obviously I'm using a professional version here, then it can also identify the issues and uh, give you further descriptions as to, um, as to what they are. So a sitemap essentially allows you to understand um, your application structure and the design patterns uh, that you should be looking out for could tell you about which frameworks, technology or plugins that are being used or whether there are any resources that can tell you more about your website. However, before doing any testing with Burpsuit, it's a good idea to properly define your target scope. This will ensure that you don't send any potentially malicious traffic to website that you're not authorized to test. Why scope? Because in real life, you will be expected to test only part of an application and the scope could be limited just by the domain or a subdomain within that domain or just a directory within that domain or sometimes just a file name. So to add um, a, an item to the, to the scope, you just, in this particular case, right click on the URL and add it to the scope. And that will, that will be applied across uh, the, the entire suit, whether it's a proxy or the intruder or the repeater. So that, that scope will be in place. And, um, in order to make sure that all you see is item in scope, you, 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 you click on the filter here and you select it here, show only in scope item, and then you apply it and all you see is what you want to deal with. Okay, the issue definitions. Um, this just provides useful content for report writing in my view. Um, you can see, you can select a particular issue here and um, it, it describes the vulnerability and how to fix it. And it's quite useful for just writing your reports.